Hi guys, welcome back to the Culture to Cop Academy. I'm here today to talk about club head speed. One of my subscribers sent me an email saying, how can I produce more club head speed without jeopardizing my strike or my accuracy? So I'm here today to give you a fantastic drill to improve your club head speed. Okay, today's gonna to be a bit different, so I'm actually not gonna use a golf club to show my, show my drill and example. I'm actually gonna use a tennis racket, okay? And it's very much about sound and feel to get a great result. So first and foremost, why the tennis racket, okay? First and foremost, it's very important to make sure that we use the left arm properly in the golf swing, and this is a great example of doing it. So I always find that right-handed golfers tend to use their right arm as their power source, okay? From here, pull down to the right, but if you look at my left elbow, my left elbow is coming into a blocking position. We don't use that left arm enough. So this drill is very, very simple, and you can hear the difference in sound, and you can certainly feel the difference in speed. So first and foremost, I'm gonna play a couple of backhand tennis shots where my left elbow comes away from the body into a blocking position. What I want you to do is I want you to listen to the sound and see if you can see a difference between the first example compared to the second example. Here's example one, where the left arm comes away from the body. So listen to the sound. You'd have had to have your microphones up very, very high to hear that sound, it was very minimal. This time, I'm gonna do it the correct way. This is where the left forearm actually rotates, okay, rotates the face over, and that continues the speed and gets our body weight forward. Let's see if we can hear a difference in the sound with less effort. Okay, so left forearm is going to rotate. Okay, wait for it. Okay, hear that sound? Go really hard now, really fast. You can also see I'm actually getting up into a good finishing position. That's because my body weight is being pulled through my left arm rather than being pulled down my right. So let's see if it actually makes any difference with a golf club. Okay, so I've got a seven arm. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my left arm becomes a bit of a block. I'm gonna pull down with my right on the way down and get into something like this position. Let's see if there's a big difference in speed. I'm gonna hit the first one a fraction harder than the second one just to prove how effective this drill is. Okay, so drill number one, we're gonna get the elbow coming away. Okay, so you'll see I'm hitting it pretty hard, okay? Okay, so the left elbow's come away. I have a poor finishing position, I'm not up on my toe. And the carry is looking around 155 mark. Yeah, 155 for 171, 73 miles an hour club head speed. This time I'm gonna swing it a lot smoother, but I'm gonna rotate my left forearm, just like I was practicing my tennis racket. And what you'll see is A, the finishing position, B, the sound, and C, definitely the club head speed. Okay, so, left forearm pulling through the target, rotating the forearm to produce more club head speed, and again, we're gonna increase your performance with your irons, and obviously with your driver by doing the same thing. Okay, so a lot, bit of a softer swing, more forearm rotation, let's see if we can improve the result. So you can see a much smoother technique, similar line, okay, you can see the white line, that's the straight line, but again, a huge difference in speed. So even a bit, that's, that's carried 181, Club head speed, 88.5, that is a big difference. It's 15 miles an hour difference just because we've got a blocker compared to something that speeds up the body and increases your results. I hope that was a very useful tip today. I'll see you again.